Um, welcome to Community Groups. And uh, we got to wrap up our first series. These last couple weeks, we've been looking at what's it look like in light of the reality that God has given his first and best to us in Jesus. What's it look like for us to respond to say, we want you to be first. We want to honor you in our lives. We want to honor you in our finances. And we got to celebrate Commitment Sunday. If you miss Commitment Sunday, uh, you can still give digitally through the website, or you can use one of the cards that will be in the seat back on Sunday morning this upcoming week. And just want to give you that opportunity. Throughout the series, we have really wrestled with some amazing thoughts about generosity. And I got to share with you just kind of four big takeaways for me that, that I think will um, prayerfully be life-changing for me moving forward. Um, obviously the big one, something I knew but just really came home for me throughout this series is that um, generosity really is a right understanding of the gospel, that God gave his first and best and only in Jesus. And we're never gonna outgive God, we're never gonna out uh, respond to God, but we can uh, do, in a, in a small sense, um, what God did, be generous in, in our lives. Uh, we also saw that uh, generosity is a discipleship issue, meaning it's something we need to be challenged on. It's something we need to grow in. It's something we should have, hopefully, some friends who are praying with us and for us that we would grow in generosity. Um, we saw that generosity reveals what we ultimately treasure. You know, one of the things we talked about is that the truth is we all do tie to something and we tie to what we love. And our hope is over these two years to make sure that's Christ. And then finally, we saw the greatest investment we can make with our resources is seeing others come to know Christ. And spent a lot of time looking at Hebrews 11, uh, spent a lot of time looking at the reality that they were people who lived on this earth without ever seeing the full promise of their faith. And the truth is, well, our lives are not only about us. We hope to live in such a way of faith that um, our ultimate treasure awaits us, our ultimate reward awaits us, and it's not on this earth. And so hope you guys have a great discussion about what encouraged you throughout this series, and, um, and grateful for you guys, and looking forward to studying through the prodigal son over the next three weeks in Luke 15. And then in Christmas series, we're going to look at the book of Isaiah together. And so uh, excited about what's around the corner.